What's up, everybody? Dave Syverton back from Our Lad Scouting Services. Week one is in the rearview mirror. But before we move on to week two, we want to take a look at the top performing rookies around the NFL, offense and defense. We spend so much time scouting these guys throughout the fall, winter and spring. It would be foolish to lose track of what these guys are doing at the next level. We got your back because it's way too much to do on your own. We will show you who is actually performing way above where they were drafted and who might not be performing at the top of their level. So let's move right on to the offensive all-rookie team. I have it right here. We have at quarterback, we have Jaden Daniels from the Washington Commanders. We have Bucky Irving running back from the Tampa Bay Bucks. We have wide receiver Xavier Worthy from the Kansas City Chiefs. We have tight end Brock Bowers from the Las Vegas Raiders. We have Joe Alt, offensive tackle from the Los Angeles Chargers. And we have Cooper Beebe, the interior offensive lineman from the Dallas Cowboys. Now, we do not make an 11-man roster week to week. There simply are not enough rookies to play to fill that in. But at the end of the season, I use these weekly all-rookie teams in a point-based system to come up with the season, our lads, all rookie team, that will be 11 offensive players and 11 defensive players. But this is the format that we use uh, for the week to week, our lads, all rookie teams. The offensive rookie of the week is Joe Alt, offensive tackle from the Chargers. Week one of the 2024 NFL season is the first time Joe Alt, son of former NFL offensive lineman John Alt, played right tackle. As a youth, he played quarterback tight end and the defensive line before transitioning to the offensive line as a senior in high school. There he settled in at left tackle before moving on to Notre Dame, where all 2000 career snaps on the line also came at left tackle. After being selected number five overall by the John Harbaugh and Joe Ortiz uh, regime, it was immediately known he would transition to the right side as they already had an all pro on the left side, protecting Justin Herbert's blind side. All who athletically ranks in the top 1% physically, according to our friends at Tracking Football, had just one month of live football to prep for his debut on the right side. On the other side of that preparation was Max Crosby who was coming off a career-high 14-and-a-half sacks and his second All-Pro honor in three years. Alt face off against Crosby and their big free agent prize, Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle, a combined 19 times in pass protection. Not one of those snaps resulted in a pressure. His footwork was snappy and balanced, and he never abandoned his technique. Talk to any offensive line coach and they will tell you how switching sides of the line, especially with zero experience at a new position, is like all of the sudden learning how to throw with your other hand. Alt made it look seamless, never abandoning his techniques and staying within himself. He won with both power and athleticism. Don't be fooled by the 22 to 10 final score. LA was down in the third quarter and this was a one score game in the fourth quarter. Alt's performance against a top-shelf defender in a tight week one game at a new position was the most impressive thing I saw from a rookie in week one of the NFL season. Now we are going to move to the de defensive side of the ball. Here is the R Lads week one all-rookie team on the defensive side of the ball. We have at edge Jared Verse from the Los Angeles Rams. At defensive tackle, we have Tavondre Sweat from the Tennessee Titans. At linebacker. Darius Musau from the New York Giants. At corner, we have Quinion Mitchell, cornerback from the Philadelphia Eagles, and safety, Javon Bullard from the Green Bay Packers. Now, when we make a defensive all-rookie team, it's very important for you to know that, especially in the defensive backfield with the different roles and, and positions that people play, we essentially pick an outside corner or nickel and then someone that predominantly plays the safety position but will pop in at nickel position. It's always a tough thing to think of, figure out, but we do. This is the way we're going to roll for the rest of the season. That's what I did last year. I bring up Brian Branch as an example. A lot of people call him a nickel. He really is, but he is a safety according to the R Lads charts, and that's where we're going to keep him. The defensive rookie of the week is Jared Verse, the edge defender from the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams enter the 2024 season with the most rookies on a 53-man roster in the NFL. They had 10 rookies on the defensive side of the ball, 
being thrown into the fire week one on the road against the Lions, a team that was number three in the NFL in scoring last season. Versus the first pick of the 2024 Rams draft class, and actually the first first rounder since Jared Goff in 2016, the young defensive front to a near victory. Not only did he record his first pro sack against Taylor Decker, a top 10 NFL left tackle, but he added five more pressures, including three hits on the quarterback. Versus all brought those heavy hands and speed to cap power conversions to the run defense, finishing with three tackles, two of which were defensive stops. The speed plus violence combination in which he plays with oozes. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Verse was a zero-star recruit and was playing for Albany just three years ago. The 2023 All-American balled out on the big stage after leveling up his competition to the ACC when he transferred to Florida State. This was one of several reasons why we felt good about him entering the league and the impact he could have right away. And that's exactly what he did as the Rams enter the post-Aaron Donald era. That's it for the Week 1 All-Rookie Team. If you want to read more about the other selections beyond Joe Alt and Jared Verse, Click on the link below and that will bring you to rlads.com where you can find the written version of the week one R Lads all rookie team. We'll see you guys next week.